Hi there, band parents and students. I uh, wanted to send a quick video to welcome you to the CMS winter concert season. It's going to be a blast, and we've got a lot of skills to show our parents and our fam family and friends, so let's get right down to it. Uh, we have concerts coming up on December 12th, so these are um, some little reminder cards that I've made. I will be printing these up, and students can take them home. But uh, these are who is playing. First Hour Orchestra, First Hour Band, and Second Hour Band will be playing uh, at 6 o'clock. Call time, which means the time you should arrive uh, and be ready to play. Not just pull up in the parking lot, but be ready with your instrument, coat off, warmed up, gone to the bathroom, ready to rehearse at 5.30, which means for most people an arrival time of 5.15. If you play percussion or any instrument that needs setup, like barry sax or tuba, you might want to consider getting there around 5. That's an hour ahead of the, the actual concert. Pretty normal in the music world to get uh, to get to a concert venue way ahead of time. The location is in the CMS multi-purpose room. People you should invite, definitely invite, invite all your family members and your friends, um, anybody that you think might be interested in supporting you or having a good time. Uh, you'll need to bring your music, your instrument, a stick bag if you're a percussion, your charged iPad at 100%, uh, a towel to clean up any spit off the floor from your instrument, some um, spray if you play trombone, extra reeds, three extra reeds if you play a reed instrument, some valve oil. What we're wearing is all black semi-formal dressy clothing. No logos or athletic wear and no non-black accents, please. Uh, the second concert of the evening features second hour orchestra and third hour band. Same night, December 12th, and that starts at 7. So if you back up at 6.30, we will start warming up. 6.15 arrive time. Uh, percussion will be cleaning up the stick bags and getting them ready for the, the 8 o'clock concert once they're done. Same place, same invites, same dress. Uh, here's the third concert of the evening, third hour orchestra, fifth hour and sixth hour bands. That's the 8 o'clock concert. Be ready by 7.30, arrive at 7.15, and then percussion needs to stay late. Probably takes about another 20 minutes to put everything away, away at the end of the night, so percussion plan on Probably being there till at least about 9.05, 9.10. All three of these concerts are less than an hour. In fact, they're probably more like 45 minutes long. So it shouldn't be too bad. Uh, we've got other concerts coming up that are you might be interested in checking out. We've got the Ensemble Showcase concert coming up here on December 6th. Then the 8th grade band concerts two nights before ours. 7th grade instrumental concerts here. Uh, on the 12th. We've got a pep band celebration concert, district choral festival, district jazz festival, district orchestra festival, and the district band festival. So there's all the district festivals going on in the winter. Some more choral concerts in February and of course the CMS Variety Show. I know you guys are all very talented and have some interesting, weird, unique, uh, or you know special talents, things you've been working on. Anybody who sings a song or plays ukulele or wants to show their skills on their band instrument, this might be a great place to show that to the whole school. That's the variety show coming up in February. Another heads up, people who are working on the Minnesota Band Directors Association All-State uh, Honor Band auditions, the, um, the window for submission has been extended, I believe, to December 5 through 13, and um, that should be Something that you're on top of now. Uh, if you're doing that audition, I'd like to hear about it um, and chat with you, maybe work with you after school. All right, so in order to achieve unity as a part of our unity, artistry, excellence, and legacy mantra, um, our concert attire is all one color, all black. What we like about that is that it basically makes everyone disappear. Uh, all the chairs are black, all the stands are black, a lot of the percussion is black, the back curtains are all black. So what happens is you don't see anybody, but what you do see is people's faces and people's instruments, which is exactly why we're there. We've tried other colors, and um, all black just really, really does a great um, visual favor for us to, to uh, be seen by the audience and only be seen for what we're supposed to be seen for. So uh, some ideas are black slacks, dress pants, dresses, Skirts below the knee, black tights or hose, black dress shoes, heels or flats, black blouse or polo, no straps, halters or tanks, black dress socks, black tie uh, is optional, um, 
a black button-up shirt with long sleeves and a collar, or a long polo or short sleeve polo. Polo. What we're hoping not to see is any jeans, sweatpants, yoga pants, jeggings, um, leggings, shorts, t-shirts, tennis shoes, flip-flops, Uggs, or casual or sport clothes, any of the non-black colors like charcoal or gray, etc. We can talk about if we want to have gray, charcoal, or white accents, but that would should be, you know, no more than about 5 or 10% uh, of your outfit. So, uh, if you have some problems with that, here are some good options for clothing. Um, as you can see, I've described everything like that. Everything would work that's on that screen. Here's some other good options. Here are some not so good options. Um, we are up on stage, so short skirts are a no-no. Uh, colorful athletic shoes, we want to stay away from that. We want to stay away from logos and um, casual clothes, workout clothes, any of those things. So uh, maybe start thinking about your outfit now so that you have what you need. And we can always uh, get together and help you if you need some help um, with that. I can, I can certainly help. So this is kind of what it would end up looking like on stage. Another reminder, no stage diving, please. For the concert, some of you need to bring your instrument from home. So that would be French horn, baritone, euphonium, tuba, tenor sax, berry sax, and bass clarinet. We, of course, because we're at uh, CMS, we should have access to some of those instruments if you don't bring yours from home. But basically, a good rule of thumb is let's decide to use the one that works best. So if your instrument from home is better than the one you use at school, then bring that in. Uh, if you do end up using the one that's at school, you may end up sharing with another person who plays uh, at the same concert. So don't worry about that. Uh, we will have a reception afterwards. Uh, we're going to have a photo shoot backdrop available, some snacks and drinks, and uh, possibly a next level instrument display from Schmidt. Uh, I'm not sure if that's going to happen. But basically, after the concert, you can exit out the back of the auditorium avoid the congestion of the line waiting to come in for the next concert and kind of hang out for a second, have a couple, um, have a couple cookies and check it out. Um, in order to make that happen, we need some volunteerism. We need some people to volunteer to bring cookies. Uh, so there is a sign up genius uh, that I will link and you can sign up and help bring some cookies. We ask people to bring cookies to share. Thank you for doing that. You will need to make sure that your iPad is ready. Uh, we're going to be using Notability. You'll change the settings. You want to make so make it so that your sleep timer is on so that it doesn't shut off in the middle of the concert. We would love to get some volunteers ahead of time so that we know the, the concert is being filmed. If you've got a nice camera, uh, maybe you want to volunteer to film the concerts and send them to me. We end up watching them the next day. So we will also learn how to take a bow. Uh, I want you to learn to uh, leave the, your coats in the car. Uh, mostly that's for the district band festival. In this case, we have, you know, the band room to put our stuff. But uh, if you feel like leaving your, your coat in the car, that's fine too. We will warm up and tune on stage. And then in the audience, we're going to make sure we're in order so that when it's our turn to go up on stage, we can just slip right into the rows. Uh, the day after the concert, we'll have a special guest. So we want to make sure we're uh, ready for that. You will need your instruments the day after the concert. And then just here is some advice for Thanksgiving that's coming up. You're going to see family and friends. It's a great time to invite them. You may want to write that down or even make up some little invitations that you can give to them. In fact, we've done that in the past during class. Uh, and then establish a regular practice schedule. We've been talking about that a little bit. We revisited the idea that you should be practicing at least one minute a day. And if that's all you can do, uh, at least don't skip a day ever. See if you can um, make it through all of second quarter without missing a single day of practice, at least one minute. And yesterday we talked about how simple that is to pick out two or three measures in your music, practice them five to ten times each so you get some repetition, and just be done. Uh, that might be the most efficient way that you can use your minute. And of course, if you have more time, maybe dig in a little deeper on some other things. Lots of uh, lists, for, just so families know, there's a huge list of things to practice right there in their book on their tally sheet on the back side. So as a parent, if you're struggling with helping them with ideas, um, just have them open up their book, open up their tally sheet, and flip to the back side. There's a whole list of ideas right there you guys can take a look at. Some other ways to practice um, that 
you might be able to do, let's say you're traveling for, um, for Thanksgiving. You wouldn't be able to practice very much. Can't bring your tuba with. There's other ways. You can listen. You can imitate. You can take it slow. You can do some research and do some writing on your music. You can play alone, play together, use repetition, target the tough zones, use more repetition, keep a tally record, and of course celebrate your victories. Uh, I look at that list sometimes and I think that's just really good advice for life too. Slow down, listen to people, imitate other successful people, um, you know, uh, play alone, play together, and just use repetition on those tough parts of life so that you can, uh, you can grow and when you progress make sure you keep a tally of it chart your progress those are all good habits for life so that's it hopefully you got this down in your calendar now it is also in schoology it is also in the band handbook it is also on the website and it will be sent in an email so it should be available i think i've counted in 10 places including the school calendar and the district arts calendar that we produced and put out so hopefully you are totally aware of these. If you are unable to come for any reason, you need to let me know before two weeks ahead of time so that we can arrange a replacement for your student. So thanks for making it this far. Uh, if I don't see you, have a good Thanksgiving, and I'll talk to you later. Thanks.